What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Mrs. Megger here. Oh, it's been a minute. Today, I am just gonna, I am just wanna, I just wanna sit here and have some coffee and do some makeup while I can and get ready. If that's okay with you. I'm gonna go in with this Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glossy Skin Balm and just hit the places that I know I need lots of moisture. My lower part of my face. children have to be around me at all times I cannot get any peace and quiet ever no matter what I do <sighs> okay so my skin feels super moisturized now so I'm going to take this poreless Putty primer from e.l.f. and just put it into my most pores areas. I'm going to use this Real Technique sponge and my L'Oreal Fresh Wear foundation in the shade 420. And I'm going to put it all over my face. So. Sixteen hour camo concealer and contour this part of the face out real quick. This is in the shade Deep Chestnut. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. And just do the inner portion. of the eye. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender for the Real Technique sponge and just pump it up. Not dragging it too low. Just blending so that there is no creasing under the eye. And I'm gonna go on the high points of the face too. 
I'm gonna make a little mark on the nose. The forehead here. The cupid's bow. And the chin. This is gonna bring out this front section of my face because my face is actually rather flat and round and I want to bring this part forward to make it look more skinny and less just pug face. powder and literally I just have a small amount in the cap here as you can see I'm just gonna lightly tap into the cap here and just powder underneath the eyes so that there's no creasing over top of the lid so that there's no creasing Whatever is left excess, I'm going to use pushing into the face motions to really make the makeup stay. I really like how I'm like naturally kind of contoured my face is right now, so I'm gonna leave that where it lays right now. I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics brush and this uh, Ciate London Melted Light Blush in the shade Dusk, and I'm just going to put it on my face. I'm going to use. Just a little bit of it toward the outside portion of my face here to elongate the face. Again, bring the illusion that I have some sort of shape to my face other than round. Now this is supposed to be an illuminating highlighter, or an illuminating blush. It doesn't really do that, but it is kind of blurring right in here, so we'll take that. And we're just going to do the same thing over here. Not really going all the way to the apples of the cheeks. We're just kind of staying out here in the outer portions of the face. Going up into the temple area. Makeup is all about illusions. The illusion that you have a contoured, snatched jawline. The illusion that you have a contoured, snatched nose and cheeks. The illusion that you have not a round, flat face, but a perfectly symmetrical face. It's like painting. That on yourself. I'm going to use the Sueva Liquid Highlight in the shade Trust Fund. Like this. I'm gonna go on the back of my hand with a beauty sponge, just like this. And we're 
we're just gonna go on the high points of her face. And the high points on the face are different on everyone, not just right here, a single stripe of highlight, anywhere where your, your face normally catches a light is where you need to put highlight. Don't follow what Instagram tells you to do, follow your normal face pattern. Your face gives you your own road to follow. You should use it. Okay. Follow the map. This stuff dries down pretty quick, so I might need to take an extra dot on the back of my hand. And if you feel like you went a little overboard with it, that's why you have powder. You can kind of tame it down. Just fit in that Cody Airspun powder and go in the areas where you feel like mm, maybe went a little overboard. And it'll make it look just a tad bit natural. I'm gonna use that blush brush and whatever is left on it and kind of make sure that this area is blended together using patting motions, not swooping motions. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Better Bronzer in the shade Bronzer I'm going to use it as a eyeshadow because it has the same tone as the deep chestnut and lay down a transition shade with a big fluffy luxie brush. Quick, easy, simple. Same on the other side. I'm gonna go into the shade Pyramid in this uh, Ace of Beauty palette that I have in my hand just because it's here and I am going to fluff it out just underneath the transition shade. It's kind of a warm tone.
now that we have that all blended out, I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to go in with the shade called Fade in the Ace Beauty palette, which is a deeper mocha -ish color. Mocha -ish color. And I'm going to go in with a smaller packer brush. And I'm just going to put it in like the outer V area. Okay. Now that I have that down, I'm going to mix those two together and go further forward. I'm going to take the shade Pyramid by itself on my big fluffy brush and really make sure that this transition is nice and blended. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other. There isn't a metallic shade in here that I really want to use. So I'm going to use the leftover highlight that is on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to put it on the front portion of this eyelid to brighten it. Nice and glowy, dewy. We're in with this Maybelline's Eye Studio Gel Cream Gel Whitener in the shade Blackest Black. And I am going to do a quick wing. To give that um, lash a little bit of thickness. And I'm going to go into the shade Pyramid and just put a little bit underneath the eye and connect it to the eye look. Thank you. 
I want my eyes to look a little bit more awake, I'm gonna go into the shade Honey Dude Gel Cream Eyeliner from ColourPop and line my Is it extra brightness? I'm using the Big Ego Mascara from Tarte. I really like using this on days whenever I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything, I'm not going outside, I don't have to deal with people. But it's not waterproof, so I haven't been wearing it lately because it's not cry proof and it seems like all I'm doing lately is crying, so. this Gamey Brow product by Benefit to do my brows because I just don't like it. And this is the fastest, easiest way to set your brows in place and give them color and kind of fill them in at the same time. this with a neutral lip to go on top of this. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous uh, lipstick in the shade Bare Fair. It's my perfect nude. And to end this video, I'm going to spray this down with a little bit of continuous mist setting spray. To keep it the dewiness. And this is the final look. Let me know if you recreate this super dewy kind of skin. It's super light in coverage and it was super wearable, very fast to do as long as you're not talking through it the whole time like I was. Um, and this is like my everyday kind of go-to skin look.
Of course, I'm not using this every single day. I'm just using a normal palette, but you can find these two types of colors in pretty much any palette that is on the market today. These two specifically though, they blended out pretty well. Um, I wouldn't really change anything about them. They lay down pigment really well. Um, the formula is a little bit on the sticky side. So once you lay them down, be prepared to kind of vigorously blend them out. Otherwise you're gonna get some patchy spots. But other than that, they're pretty good. See, they're still pay off on my fingers too. So, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't mind. I would love to have you around for one of our next videos. We do family vlogs here on this channel. We will have some stuff coming up soon, hopefully. Um, we are currently still looking for a house, so there's going to be more of that coming up soon very soon hopefully i will be in a better mood in the next video um there's just a lot going on right now <laughs> and i just wanted to get a video out so that i can keep you guys active on my channel um and i hope i will see you again soon don't forget to click the notification bell and if you want to follow me on social media it is at Mrs. Megra everywhere. So I'll see you again next time.